Ulnus maritima, seaside alder. These trees reach 15 to 40 foot high. Although often remain fairly short, they tend to have a rounded top and overall upright forms, and may be more of a multi-stem shrub rather than a tree, and can form thick, dense stands under ideal conditions. The foliage is deciduous, alternate, and leaves are narrowly elliptic, oblong, or narrowly ovate. The margins are finely toothed, and the underside of most leaves are glabrous, although they can be resin coated when they're young. Leaves are dark green in midsummer and turn yellow in the fall. Ornamental features of Ulnus maritima include the light gray to light brown, smooth bark with small lenticels. Staminate catkins occur in one terminal cluster of two to four. Pistillate catkins occur in the leaf axils. These flower in late summer or early fall. These can be a very fast grower, achieving two to three feet per year in the first few years once they become established. Cultural informations for Ulnus maritima. These are hardy in zones four to seven. They do well in full sun to part shade and will perform best under full sun and wet conditions. They tolerate pH from between five and eight or acidic to alkaline conditions and have no major pest or insect problems. Their native range includes the eastern and central USA and occur in three major distinct geographic populations, occurring in Oklahoma, Georgia, and the Maryland and Delaware area. It's tolerant of wet or standing water, and it's classified as endangered in the wild. This can also be difficult to locate in the nursery trade, and it was introduced by Dr. Bill Graves of Iowa State University. It's a good selection for low, wet spots, can be used as a windbreak or as a landscape specimen.